Hey everybody, how you doing? Give me a second to give you a light. I can show you what I'm doing here. Today, I am changing the strut mount right there for my 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe. Now I know I told you before, I was changing the struts. Come to find out, that was a problem, the strut mount. This one right here goes underneath the uh, firewall, fender well, and into the engine bay. Three bolts on there, holds it on. And then that in there, that actually uh, is your mount itself. Inside is broke, like you can see. And not only that, if you take this, put it on top of that, that forms the entire strut mount. See? So what I did was I took them struts back. I'll probably end up getting them here in the future. And got the replacement strut mount. Now this is very difficult to do. What I did, and you're gonna to wanna to invest in this, is you can either go and rent, let me move these out of the way, you can either rent a spring compression kit for $55 at uh, AutoZone or Advanced, $45 I think, or you can buy a set. I actually bought that set and it really, really helped me. Oh, by the way, there's my new box for my strut mount, and there's my new strut mount. Now, if you turn around and hook the strut compressor, spring compressor, here and here at the bottom on each side, you can compress this spring here and this spring here to where it meets this one in the middle. And if you have the top on right, this one right here, you will be able to hook this on no problem, see? There you go. Now I'm gonna hook this back inside of the car here in a couple of minutes. And that should solve my uh, sway issues with the car that I have. I have issues with it swaying back to forth on acceleration and deceleration. And that might have just solved it. So, and the strut's still good. I done checked the other side. It's still good. Uh, there's no leaking coming from it. I just checked. Matter of fact, I'll show it for you people. Nothing. So that's still good. This is still good. It still moves up and down. And then, yep, no leaks. So I'm gonna put this back down. There, that's where it goes. All right, so that's basically, I'm just getting you a quick up to date. 200 and almost 19,000 miles on it now. And these right here, mean these yellow marks with the green marks mean that they go outside and obviously you can see right there's the mounts for it so taking it off was no problem uh i actually put it on a vice once again i'm here at work the time is now three o'clock in the morning and i'm gonna put that back on put the tire back on put the two bolts in the bottom well you fish this up start these three bolts up here so this way it'll hang and then you can put the two bolts in the sway bar end link right there, uh, you're going to have to get a, uh, either a pair of vice grips or a 17 millimeter, which is, which is what I used, to tighten that up with and to loosen that with. Tighten these two bolts up and then go up top and tighten those up. I'm not sure what your uh, torque spec will be. Um, I believe I could be wrong on it, but I believe it's between 80 and 90 foot pounds. I'm not going to do anything except just tighten them down as good as I can get them and then call it a day. So there you have it. Just a quick update on what I'm doing. And I will see you next time around. Have a good day. Happy birthday to you who was having birthdays this month. And I'll talk to you later.